Mm. Captain Smuthers. So we go to game one on Battlefield. This loser's finals action. Yeah. Don't let the graph fool you, ladies and gentlemen. So Mita King, of course, often goes chic. The hacks, of course, going with his new main, Fox McCloud. Ah, oh, these are just warmers. <laughs> Hand warmers. Okay. Okay, not a problem. They're just giving Gamer time to update it to uh, losers. Wait, what just happened? Why are they unplugging? What's oh. going on? Were we all mind games? Team attack was off the whole time. I Whoa, don't think so. Check, I, uh -oh. check the archives. Oh, boy. Welcome to ROM 7. Oh, wait, wait. They're sitting back down. So I think they resetted the match. Yeah, Dark is like, no, no. Team attack was on when we played. Sit down, guys. Don't get excited. Everybody got super hype <laughs> in the VG boot camp slash CT EMP camp. We just lost to Double Puff. They felt like, oh, it's time to run back the winner's finals, but not quite, guys. Not quite. Nope. Yeah, Muta King kept saving hacks, so that's it. Certainly was on. Of course. It's going to be on here, as we know for certain. So, I mean, we just saw uh, the moon get kicked in the face by DJ Nintendo with an air. So, again, we're going to see a lot more of hacks being super aggro. Yep. Muta MTK King. playing support in the Perfect. background, charging needles, ready to punish, because that punish game is pretty pristine. It's pretty on point, and it's perfectly and particularly punishing. Perpetual punishes. Good stuff by Music King and Hats. Great positioning. Made sure to get that stock quickly off of DJ Nintendo. And pardon me for interrupting, but look at that angle that uh, Hacks went on that recovery, just threading the needle. Uh, losing the stock. Great stuff by Music King. Even though they're interrupting um, Hacks' combo, it he was looking to kind of reset yes. uh, the box he was up to run. I don't of remember course. if it was DJ or the Moon. But. Mm. DJ Smart N stuff. DJ Nintendo being VSTR visitor. Nice stuff by Hacks. While the Moon is trying to see if he could save DJ. DJ does not make it back. Nope, and these two actually did play earlier, I believe, right? And winner's bracket. So this is a run back. Yeah, it was 2 1 in semis. So we know that the Moon and uh, DJ certainly can pick wins up off his team, but can they get the set? That is the question. That would be a huge upset in many people's minds. Especially. Um, given that these players did win Apex. Yes. Melee doubles. Nice by Music King just hanging back. You know, and that's Music King's motto. If it's not frame perfect, that means he's not perfect enough. Yep. And the funny thing is he tells me he actually practices a lot on the edge. So he takes great pride on his skill at the edge. I know. I mean, I was talking to him actually during Twitch Plays Pokemon. He says, yeah, I'm a lot better on the ledge than they are. <laughs> And no save from M2K, not going to pop and try and use a needle to save hacks. Ooh, try to fake him out a little bit. Actually, maybe even recognizing that he's probably in a bad position. And just came back. Vintage M2K, if you're off the stage against him, you, you pray. Ooh, good stuff. But the red team is still up two stocks. Yep. Oh, double shine. But he caught his partner, DJ. And oh. that's the end of the moon. Unfortunate. The moon has set tonight. La Luna. Oof. Great fake out once again by Muta King. What more can you say about him? See DJ and the moon. I'm like, what are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> you see wife, dark, and anti in the background. Shouts to anti for being here. I didn't even see him sneak in. But uh, oh, this is one of the premier teams in Melee. These two end up becoming, you know, consistent partners. And even still, they're... Like you said, we talk about laurels. They've got a couple, especially with Apex 2014 under their belt. And here we go. We're going to go straight to Pokemon Stadium. And they let M2K uh, chain, transform. Chain. They're going to get into it. Okay. Looks for a bit like they're opting to. They're thinking about a two on one in M2K. But right now, it looks like we have the Moon playing support, DJ going in, which is, you know. We're used to seeing DJ usually playing support, especially with guys like Alucard. Uh, but 
this case, no, he's he's going point. Yep. Ooh, Nowadays, the moon it. with a rookie mistake. Uh, Three up the wedge, gets a lucky shine, but I think it ends up being KO'd anyway. And support yep. MTK. One thing I'd like to note is um, I mentioned it to Alucard earlier. Um, actually, DJ Nintendo is way more confident approaching, probably because of the fact that he's using Fox. You know, I, I do like uh, MTK trying to use the upbeat to save hacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of people would opt for needles and things of that nature, but MTK. Oh, nice. Always Alley aware, you. but is this the end of hacks? No. Well, yes, it is. And DJ ended up actually getting KO'd. I thought that was going to be the end of the moon. The moon is still in the sky. <laughs> Good by DJ, keeping those guys busy, but the moon still gets swatted right off stage by Music King. <gasps> Try to get a, an immediate edge guard. Good and awareness from the moon after yep. the grab. Nice backup. Capitalize, punish. Perfect. Playing uppercase that time. These guys just trying to keep Music King away. He's always trying to get into the fray. And M2K at home on the ledge, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to come up there. We're going to talk and push some percent across stage. Yep. Keep in mind. And what I really like from the green team right there is they look like they're trying to be a little more defensive. Just a tad. I mean, they do have a lead. But at the same time, red team realizing that they had a deficit is going straight for them. Good stuff by Hex and um, Music King. So it's just a one stock deficit basically at this point, but yeah. M2K's this uh, second last stock is pretty close to that danger range in percent. Good Speaking drill which, shine. Up smash, another up smash, and double kill. Can Music King take four himself. stocks from I the moon? No. Mm. Music King is not even going to waste time. Guess not. Runs right off stage. You know, why let them get momentum? You know, just go into the next match. Take what information you can. I don't mind it. You know, sometimes I like to see if Muta King can pull a set like that out because he is Muta King for a reason, but he's opting not to. He's sticking with Sheik as we go to Dreamland. Grab and go, still looking really good, Muta King staying back, charging a lot of needles, throwing needles from afar. Those needles interrupt so much. And the thing is... Do you um, see how many back hairs Hax has thrown out this a set? A lot, and that's key. He needs to do that with Fox. I Beautiful mean, stuff. Another double kill. I remember nah. back in the day, uh, J-Man used to say that. And you want to be a good Fox and teams, you just need two moves. Shine and back air. Shine back air. Wall them out and keep yourself safe. It's the name of the game here in teams. It's all about controlling space, forcing your opponent to the edge, and just closing out with the edge guards. There you go. Back airs a lot from the moon. Nice. Mixes it up with a dash dance grab. Catches Music King blocking a little too much. And actually, I think we saw how cognizant DJ is like, knowing how to style. How Hax loves to do those dashes. Wave dashes <gasps> onto the stage. Yep. Into an immediate nair. Note that the timing was off. And went for an F smash. Caught Hax sleeping with it. But right now, Hax and DJ are just somehow making it back. You know, they were both pincered off. Like they were both going to be done. Yep. And still... Beautiful stuff by uh, the moon, baiting out a down smash and punishes Music King accordingly. Hax misses the read there on the moon's recovery. Unfortunate. DJ sending the moon straight off stage with friendly fire, but he's still living. Not anymore. And great attempt by. The moon. Oh man, DJ Nintendo creative edge guards. Yep, using a couple of jabs to come out that fire box them into a shot. Nice. Oh, it's looking messy. No, they're both pincering in a music King. King right now, mm -hmm. which is probably not what he's wanting right now. He's been playing that support. He's been playing back as he holds ledge. It's very comfortable there, and they've got a pretty solid lead on team control at the moment. And this is the moment where Control tries their best not to take on too much damage. That way they can at least keep the game close versus these guys. This is a crucial moment right here in the match. That fight for center stage. 
ever so intense. And beautiful combos right there by Team Grab and Go. Well, these two are able to just confirm so quickly off of what each other wants to do. And that's one thing that it helps when you're teaming with someone you know extremely well. Oh, ooh, ooh. DJ. Sp superb recovery. Oof. And DJ's going to hold on. Oh, and... I like the angle. Yep. He was trying to save the moon, but... And this is exactly why that... that those last st two stocks were crucial. Now, DJ is stuck in a 2v1 situation where both opponents still have their four stocks retained. And wow, Music King with that amazing snipe. Beautiful. Game two. Oh, game, oh, game three. three. Yeah, 2-1 yeah, actually. Uh, game three going to Hax and Music King. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's tough. It's so yeah, tough. it's very hard. For the most part, these guys, they're doing a really good job versus Hax and Muta King, but somehow, some way, they you know, still manage to pull away once the stocks get, you know, later in the game. Yeah, yeah. you know, past the two minute mark, it seems like they've been staying pretty even until that point, and then somehow, they still start pulling away. Oh, great positioning by Muta King. Oh my gosh, too much damage. That one single up tilt was all DJ Nintendo needed to get back on stage. Muta King now sending the moon off. DJ Nintendo a free punish, but Muta King doesn't have enough damage to lose his stock. And again, you know, Green is surviving pretty yeah. late in these stocks, you know. Both over 140. Ooh. And as I say that, there goes Muta King, but a shine on stage from Hax. Wow. Good presence of mind from both Hax and Muta King, I'd say that. Team grab and go didn't know who wanted to grab and who wanted to go. <laughs> As we get an SD from Hacks on the left side of the stage. And it seems like um, Team Grab and Go trying their best to avoid Muta King's um, needles from afar. And every time they jump, I would assume it would probably allow Hacks to maybe get free follow ups with his back airs. Meanwhile, if Hacks not opting for a team combo, he wants to take this one on his own. Muta King charges his needles and he's going to take ledge. Free KO on both sides. Great stuff right there by Hax. Amazing edge guard. And man. Good presence of mind from DJ. Ooh, and a rogue forward smash right there. No, no opportunity to get the kill. Music King ready there to save his teammate. Nice shine. Wow, by the moon. And again, you know we're about at that two-minute mark. One stock leader for the Red Squad. Yeah. I don't say I agree. Oh, and DJ with the unfortunate self-destruct. Yeah. Um, the last stock, the moon actually, it looked like he was trying to keep Muta King away. And then at one point, he started just giving up real estate, allowing Muta King to close the distance. Pinturing both uh, all, both members of Team Grabago and the moon losing another stock. Yeah, you know, DJ actually was doing pretty good against Hacks on the right side. Yeah. It's not a horrible edge guarding situation, but he made it back. Yes. And this could be trouble. Yep. Oh. CT ledge is in full effect right now. And this is the game. Yep. Yeah, so I didn't really agree with the moon. Walling out Mutsu King and then giving up. He should have just probably kept Mutsu King away as much as possible and let DJ Nintendo have his uh, 1v1 with hacks. All right. You saw it too, right on the left side of the stage, on their last two stocks. The moon was doing a good job. He kept trying to bait out Mewtwo King, bait out Mewtwo King. And at one point he was like, all right, I'm going to go help DJ. He goes help to help DJ. Mewtwo King's like, thank you. This is what I've been waiting for this entire set. And yeah, he's like, all right, now you two guys are here. And I'm waiting for you. Yeah. Hope. yeah. And oh, wait, he 